Like, we're, if we talk more, we'll win. If we just talk more, you know, we got to talk more. Well, it doesn't have anything to do with talking. It has to do with exchanging information. Okay? I can two, two instances I can prove it to you. One of them, you'll stand on the sideline. The team's not going well. It's not going. You're losing. Something isn't right. Somebody on the bench will do this. They'll clap their hands and they'll say, what? Let's go. What, where are we going? Do we have a reservation? Do I need a suitcase? What? So let's go. What else? Anything else? Come on, you guys. Yeah, come on, you guys. That's a biggie. Right? Come on, you guys. Okay. Both of those are talking, and they're useless. There's nothing in that comment. It would be better call the ball sooner in exchange of information. Now, I know that you're worried about upsetting your teammate. I know if I said, if somebody said to me, well, call the ball sooner. Well, I'd like to see you call it sooner. You with me? There's a, there's a phrase you can use that will always stop that delivery system interference. You won't have to worry about taking it wrong. If you start your conversation with, remember, we're supposed to call the ball sooner because you're just reinforcing something you already know. Remember, we're not supposed to eat the wooden chips. Whatever it is. Remember, we're supposed to turn our socks inside out at night. Whatever it is. It doesn't matter. But if you start with remember, you can't get upset. My favorite example of communication instead of um, talking instead of exchanging information, setters. Where's my setters? Cool. The ball isn't passed where you can set it. You're supposed to get every ball I know. This time, you just physically cannot get there. What do you say? Help. Are you on fire? Are you drowning? It really doesn't mean anything. What you want is more specific information exchange. You ready? I'll show you. Sam, back up. Sam, move forward a little bit. Good. Pete, will you come here? No, go back. You get the idea? You want a name and what you want them to do. Grace, set. Not just help. Grace, set. When you get good enough, grace, set, me. If you're exchanging information, you can have that kind of stuff happen. Fair enough? Got the idea? So calling the ball is easy, mine, that's easy, but you need to make sure we're exchanging information, not just talking, okay? We're going to do a couple drills today doing that as soon as you're warm. Are we close? Are we close? We're going to work on a drill now. Three people at a time, three on the court. Pete's going to toss the ball over. You have to pass it, set it, and swing at it in the court, over the net. As soon as you hit it, another ball's coming. You have to pass, set, and swing at that ball. A third ball will come. Pass, set, swing at that ball. Easy, right? Except you cannot do the same skill twice. You will only hit one ball, you will only set one ball, you will only pass one ball. Got the idea? So the order of how those skills are executed cannot be the same. You with me? Otherwise, it's out, new group in. Hit the ball out of bounds in the net, out, new group in. you got to get all three. You have special work because you can't set. You, don't, you have the ability, you just aren't allowed, right, because of your thumb. So when you get ready to set, which is supposed to be your assigned skill that time, you can pass it, but you have to say, I can't set. So that we know you can't set, but you're going to forearm pass it instead. You can do everything else. Fair enough? Any questions? Easy? We'll see. <laughs> now what I'm hoping happens is after somebody hits the ball, they'll come down and go, I've got a set, or I've got a pass. Good, here comes the next ball. She can't have the first contact. You guys are gone. Same person can't have the first contact each time. There's a pass. There's a set. There's a swing. Somebody else has got a pass. That's right. She can't hit. You're gone. Same hit her twice. She hit the same. She hit twice. Are you getting it? 
There's a pass. There's a set. There's your hitter. Somebody else got a pass. Somebody else has got a set. No, same hitter. New group. There's a pass. There's a set. There's a swing. Got to have a new passer. Last one. Who's passing? Who's got a set? They made it. As rocky as that looked, they made it. New group. You got to play a little harder than that. I'm not going to help you. You got to talk. I know the answers. Toast. We need to talk about what we're going to do, what we just got through doing. No, new group. Wait, Pete. Come here just for a second. Easy. Skill-wise, it's easy. The only reason we're having any trouble at all is you're not really exchanging information. The group that got it only got it because some old loudmouth guy was on the side of the court going, somebody else has to set, somebody else has to pass, somebody else has to hit it. I know how this is supposed to work. I've never had trouble calling the ball talking, never. You guys are the ones we're trying to get to do that. You need to talk about what you're going to do, what you just got through doing, even who you want to do it. Leah, back up. Leah, come forward. Get the idea? It works. All right, here you go. Hopefully I can keep my yapper shut long enough for them to figure it out. <laughs> oh, you're toast. Right idea, I heard some talking there. Hey, hey, they got it. Nice going, new group.